Hello? Hey. What? Can you hear me now? Kind of. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. Seven days. Seven days? But there's a holiday coming up. Do you count the holiday as a day? Sometimes we work a little extra. Good morning, Relative Patriots. We're your hosts. I'm Taylor Vlad. And I'm Haley Harris. And these are your morning announcements for Monday, October 24th. Now for announcements. The art department would like to remind all the students that they can still bring their decorated pumpkins in and make sure their name, first PE teacher, and their grade are on the bottom before Friday the 28th. Winners will be announced Monday, Halloween. The perfect attendance breakfast held for students who had perfect attendance for the first nine weeks of school will take place Wednesday, October 26th in the cafeteria at 8 a.m. Since you're so good at being in school on time, we know we will see you there. costumes or allergic your costumes to school. Admin encourages you to be creative, dress up with your friends, and have fun with the spirit of the holiday. Here are the guidelines for what you can and can't wear. All regular school dress code policies apply, including no revealing clothing, and appropriate shoes must be worn, etc. No scary masks or full face masks. No violence, no pretend dropped weapons, such as guns, knives, or swords. Costumes cannot promote use of drugs, alcohol, or violence of any kind. Costumes may not be offensive or inappropriate in any way. When in doubt, ask an adult. Students who wear costumes that do not apply to the costume guidelines listed above will be asked to change their clothes. The band's fall concert will take place after school on Monday, October 24th. The fall band concert will be held in the outdoor courtyard amphitheater and begin at 6 p.m. Student Council will be hosting its next monthly meeting on Wednesday, October 26th in Ms. DeHoyes' classroom at 8 a.m. As they prepare for the Student Council elections held in November, students will begin prepping their speeches during the meeting. Student Council will also like to remind everyone that the Patriot Store will be once again open on Wednesday, November 2nd. PTA Reflections Contest is now extending their submission deadline by a full two weeks. The new deadline to accept art, dance, film, photography, music composition, and writing submissions is November 4th. The regional deadline has also been extended to November 11th, but students are required to turn in their finished works in our region by the 4th of November. There is still time, so get to work. Check out this QR, QR code link to learn more. Next week marks the annual celebration of Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week is an alcohol, tobacco, and other drug and violence prevention awareness campaign observed every year in the month of October. To honor the campaign, each day this week, students will be invited to do something different every day. Like, on Monday, too smart for drugs, wear a red school spirit shirt or RMS shirt. On Tuesday, I'm too bright for drugs, wear neon and sunglasses. On Wednesday, heroes make healthy choices, wear a camo shirt or superhero gear. On Thursday, Friends don't let friends do drugs. Wear matching shirts or outfit with a friend. And on Friday, stay in the game and be drug free. Wear your favorite team or college shirt and attire. Basketball trials will be starting up soon. In just two weeks, taking place on November 2nd. More details will be coming soon next week. Stay tuned for details. Great week. <laughs> so, okay, let's just, oh, my bad, I did not see you. Let's just walk in. <laughs>